Now, thematically, this looks really fucking cool, right? Thematically, this looks really cool. The problem is, where the fuck is the rest of my class, right? Kind of like the contingencies for this and what are the cool things about it, but it's just, let's just get into it. I wanna talk about it. So the tier set's been changed to um, your four set. When Primordial Wave is consumed, and for 10 seconds afterwards, Lava Burst burns your target for 25% additional damage over four seconds, and for 10 seconds, each cast of Chain Lightning causes your next Lava Burst to hit up to three additional targets affected by your Flame Shocks for 100% normal damage. So to get some like things out of the way real quick, this 25% additional damage works like Ignite, which means it's compounding, it stacks upon itself, and it refreshes the dot uh, every, every time you Lava Burst into the target during that first 10 second window. So that's pretty cool. The buff or damage debuff is called Molten Slag. There you go, you see it there. And you can see that it is refreshing every time that uh, the Lava Burst went in for that 10 seconds. Molten Slag, it's, it's okay. It's not super exciting. It's a nice little thing on top of what you're already doing. Um, obviously, the more Lava Burst that you get out within that 10 second window, the more damage Molten Slag is gonna be doing. Um, this is probably in single target or in the target that you're lava bursting um because this can affect multiple targets molten slag can affect multiple targets especially within your primordial wave window and when you're generating those additional lava bursts when you're chain lightning into a lava burst so you're weaving so molten slag can hit multiple targets or be applied to multiple targets but you really see it more in a single target as far as how big of a percentage molten slag adds to your damage Right there, you can see from one primordial wave window, it added 14%, so 174K. That's not a whole lot over the course of the fight. You're probably gonna see maybe 6%, upwards of 6% of your damage. I may be wrong on that number for a single target, um, especially if you're playing the degenerate builds. What are the degenerate builds? What are my issues with the current tier set? So. What has my knickers in a knot? By running talents such as uh, DV rooted elements further beyond primordial surge, okay? You can maintain, oh, and aftershock, by the way, you can maintain permanent ascendance uptime. What do I mean by this? Well, if I get an ascendance proc, let's try and do that here. Uh, I can stay in Ascendance for as long as I fucking want. I just need to get into Ascendance. Right? The hardest part is getting into Ascendance, but wait, once you're in it, it's like, oh, I'm now doing 20% more damage consistently. This causes a lot of issues, and I don't want to flop too, too far off what I'm talking about. I just want to show you. So if, if RNG can just work with me for a moment to get into Ascendance, that would be great. But while I'm trying to get into it, this will inevitably cause issues with our damage variance, just like it did in Legion when we played the Gamble build, okay? Um, your damage inside Ascendance is really great. It's fantastic. Your damage outside of Ascendance leaves a lot to be desired, let's just say. Okay, now we're in Ascendance. And every time I Earthshock, I can extend the duration of Ascendance while I'm in Ascendance. Oh, fuck. I messed up there, I was supposed to Earthshock. So the idea obviously is that you're staying in Ascendance for as long as possible. Primordial Wave, the Elemental Blast that you get from Primordial Wave also extends the duration of Ascendance meaning that it is a real primordial, or the uh, elemental blast is, is real, 
real value. You can get Maelstrom resets from your Earthshocks to, to uh, extend the duration. You don't have to play Earthshock, by the way. Um, usually you would play Elemental Blast actually in full single target, but I was testing some play with uh, Liquid Magma Totem to see if Permanent Ascendance was okay in AoE. So ideally you would want to do this with actually uh, Elemental Blast instead because you can actually get free casts of Elemental Blast with uh, Nature's Swiftness, which is really good. And I'm not gonna get another proc here. Nope. That's okay. You also probably wanna play Echo Chamber or Echoes of the Elements in pure single target, just have the additional Lava Burst outside of Ascendance. So that's another thing that I'm not doing correctly. Anyway, another, pr another problem arises with this build. It's a shame that I couldn't show it to you right now but as far as how degenerate it is um another problem arises when you're inside of a sentence we don't want to move we don't want to do mechanics as that can lead to us dropping the ascendance buff obviously so consequently reducing our damage significantly like i talked about before the damage variance so this may also lead to balancing issues as well if further beyond build stays elemental shaman will inevitably be balanced around the damage that they're doing in Ascendance, and this would cause our damage outside of Ascendance to be further reduced. So that sucks. We do not want this. I know it's cool, but it's not healthy for the spec. It's not healthy for the gameplay. It's not healthy for the... Um, already stigma that elemental shaman has in 20 man raids in mythic plus right it's not healthy for any of those things because if blizzard just nerfs us into the ground without proper compensation or proper bringing things back into alignment um with our spenders which is another issue i'll get into right now this is going to leave us with even more stigma problems and because we already don't bring a raid buff, what is the point of bringing Elemental Shaman unless it is completely overpowered? If it's d damaged to the point where like it's, a, it's like a Warlock or a Devastation uh, Evoker, right? That's just doing stupid damage. There's no point in bringing an Elemental Shaman. Not, now that I'm talking out my ass, uh, you guys can see that I'm just staying in this sentence as much as I fucking want. Like, this is not good because I don't want to move, I just want to cast Lava Bursts, and I just want to cast Elemental Blast to stay in Ascendance even more. So, this is the problem that we have. For single target, oh yeah, this is fucking cool, but I'm pressing literally two buttons in my rotation. I'm ignoring my Lightning Bolt, and by the way, the first iteration of the tier set for, um, elemental was like oh um you're after you cast a lava burst or after you consume lava surge after primordial wave your next lightning bolt or chain lightning deal 25 percent increased damage but with this build with the further beyond build you completely ignored your four set in fact you didn't even want your four set in the first iteration you'd rather have items that gave you better gear or better stats so you didn't even want to get your four set in that in that iteration. Now this iteration, okay, cool. Molten Slag is doing like 10% of my damage. Does this also mean that I want to cast Chain Lightning now? Lava Beam to send out more Lava Bursts? Maybe? What about spenders? What about spenders and AOE? This is another, th I'm just staying in ascendance, guys. Like this is, this is the problem. You see what I mean? I'm glad I could show you. Okay. Now let's talk about spenders. Another big, big issue. Section two, AOE and cleave. If we talk about non-ascendance builds, so non-further beyond builds, let's just talk about wildfire, okay? 
Uh, wildfire, we usually run splintered elements. Uh, you don't go into further beyond, mostly magma chamber and uh, skybreaker's fiery demise. You can also pick up improved flame tongue weapon by dropping a point in power of the maelstrom because you don't really need two points into it. So increased fire damage from improved flame tongue weapon. So let's put that on right now. And then we have the cooldown reduction from Skybreaker's Fiery Demise. You can also run Windspeaker's Lava Resurgence if you just want more Lava Burst, that's fine. But the problem with this is that we're not even casting our spenders. So there's no point in running Windspeaker's Lava Resurgence. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you what's going on here. So you are doing so much more damage by just casting Chain Lightning and Lava Burst with Lava Surge procs and all that jazz, that you're not even casting Earthquake in AoE. At all. What do you mean? If I am putting up everything here, right? So I put down all my shit. I'll, I'll Stormkeeper. Oh, my primordial wave is now back on cooldown. And I'm just casting chain lightning and lava burst. I only want to cast chain lightning and lava burst because it's inevitably reducing the cooldown of my primordial wave for each lava burst I cast that is hitting all of these different targets. I'm lagging a little bit on the server here, but I'm trying to just weave lava bursts in per cast of chain lightning. And molten slag is hitting like all these targets. Now, thematically, this looks really fucking cool. Right? Thematically, this looks really cool. The problem is, where the fuck is the rest of my class? Right? If I'm just chasting Chain Lightning and Lava Burst and I'm doing 430k, visually, this is cool. But I'm, again, I'm casting or, or just using two buttons in my rotation. Three, if you count Primordial Wave and four if you count liquid magma totem just to spread flame shocks right just to spread flame shocks um you would you can go surge of power in this instead of aftershock aftershock is useless obviously surge of power would only be useful if um really if the elemental blast from primordial wave gave you surge of power currently it does not it interacts with everything else in our kit as far as like using a spender does um, like mountains will fall. It interacts with that. It interacts with echoes of great sundering. Um, it interacts with windspeaker's lava resurgence. It, it doesn't interact with surge of power for for whatever reason. So, surge of power in this case is really only good to spread flame shocks. That's the only time I would ever use an earthquake is if I had to spread my flame shocks in this situation here, in order to proc surge of power. But outside of that, it's like, why even use anything else? when all I have to do is cast Chain Lightning and Lava Burst. Like, look at the damage I'm doing. This is terrible, terrible design. It needs to be balanced. Like, our, our spenders actually need a big buff now in order for us to even touch those spells. That's a big issue. Again, thematically, this is really cool, right? It leaves a lot to be desired, and it's a it's a very, very strong four set. But when a four set completely changes the way that you play your class to, to the point where half of it is now not used, that is a big issue. Um, I want to talk about another problem that we face with this. And that it's it's forcing us into the wildfire build. It's forcing us into the further beyond build. 
but there is no real middle ground between those two builds. You could play Icy Hot, right? You could get out of uh, Improved Flame Tongue, go into that. Uh, you could lose Skybreaker's Fiery Demise, um, lose one stack of Magma Chamber, go into Elemental Blast. Okay, this is kind of like what Icy Hot looks like. But we still have a huge issue with our single target and wildfire build. If I'm playing this build, you're completely reliant on RNG procs with deeply rooted elements, and you don't get the added benefit of going into further beyond 100% uptime. It doesn't happen here. You could argue that, oh, you could just run a further beyond build in Mythic Plus, right, with Elemental Blast, so you have better single target. Um, or you kind of play more like an Enhancement Shaman plays right now, and you just ask your tank to pull as much shit onto the boss as humanly possible in order for you to have insane funnel and damage with the wildfire build. That could be an option. I hate this all around. Now we have a balancing issue. Earthquake is not desirable to, to press and it's also almost in useless to press since Lava Burst is now cleaving on everything. That's part of my notes. Um, so you're staying at capped maelstrom. I forgot to mention this the entire time, never pressing anything unless you need to spread flame shocks again. And wildfire single target, like I mentioned, is still very underwhelming on the PTR as our spenders leave more to be desired with throughput. Our spenders in general are lackluster compared to the raw damage that is now coming from just lava burst in both single target and AoE. Uh, this tier set doesn't this tier set change doesn't solve the issue of us not bringing a raid buff and elemental is still not considered as a raid spot unless they are just ridiculously overpowered so max is right but that that statement is contingent on world first race and like top 50 guilds okay you're gonna have a raid spot if you're playing with your friends so don't worry about that I want to make sure that that is clear. I've been playing with the same guild for like eight years now, probably longer at this point. And I've always played my Shaman. I've never been asked to re-roll, only been asked to really like flex enhancement from time to time. I just went an entire tier as enhancement and it was good. It was fine. But I'm still um, our Shaman slot, our Shaman DPS slot in our guild. Even though Elemental doesn't bring a raid buff, right? That's not important unless you're pushing like top 50 guilds so don't worry about that i'm just extremely disappointed in the fact that uh the developers or like the the people that are in charge of of the shaman um tier set and, and, and balancing i guess and tuning don't really play the class I'm pretty sure whoever plays, whoever does the elemental stuff, like mains mage or something. I think that's right. Like they main another class because they don't actually play this class. They don't see how um, the tuning changes or the changes that they do could actually be played out. It's Hunter. Oh, great. <laughs> I'm doing this live on twitch.tv. So, um, by the way, shameless plug, if you guys want to check out my live stream, twitch.tv slash Brockashama, send over a follow, support my content if you want to. But I want to know what your guys' thoughts are on this kind of situation. Let me know in the comment section of the video down below. I'll post a link to um, Max's video as well, going over all the tier set changes that we were looking at earlier. But I'm disappointed in this. It's either going to be like they just nerf Elemental Shaman into the ground because of this tier set change, and they leave further beyond on the table, which nobody wants to really play, except for degenerate players, I guess. But it's not gonna work. Like this, this tier set is not gonna work. It's just gonna be, and I've tested it in dungeons, by the way. It is terrible to play in dungeons, as far as what I've been trying to do. I've also been playing with outlaw rogues, so everything just kind of fucking dies immediately, which doesn't really help. Outlaw rogues are gonna get nerfed. You've heard it here 
on a shaman stream but let me know what you guys think of everything in the comments down below of the video i'm going to try and get out more videos as uh changes come for the class and tuning i'm going to do an enhancement one as well because enhancement on the ptr is playing phenomenally well i love playing enhancement right now it feels so good and i'm actually pushing for title on live uh with uh enhancement in fact my radar io score is now like 3550 doing pretty well on that so if you guys want to check out those live keys come over to twitch.tv slash i try and stream and do those every day but take care thank you so much for watching and until next time keep calm and maelstrom on bye bye